This time I have six uh, more gates of Kuf. We have this time two quadrangles, three pentangles, and one hexangle. Now, all six of these gates, um, let's see how to explain this. That descent along Kuf from Hald, from the rational intellect, into the subconsciousness in Malkuth is, well, sort of problematic. Um, it's not exactly difficult, but it's complicated because we are complicated beings and the subconscious is always changing while at the same time just clawing desperately to consistency, to constancy, okay? So it's, it's challenging, this descent of awareness from the rational intellect to the subconsciousness. But all six of these gates, and two of the last two gates we did last time, talk about the collective, you know, our connection with the collective awarenesses. Because the collective awarenesses are like a stockpile of experience of other experience of the same challenge of the descent of uh, conscious, uh, the uh, rational intellect, <laughs> excuse me, the rational intellect into the subconscious mind. So our relationship with the collective is a source of guidance in that process. So, all six of these gates touch upon that relationship with the collective awareness. Okay, so gate 173 is our first quadrangle and it begins in Hog, travels Kuf down to Malkuth, Malkuth, up the hidden path to Gedjula. Gedjula, up the path of Jupiter, of Gimel, to Hokma, and then Hokma, all the way down that hidden path, crossing the Alafresh to Hod, and then back around. Now, <clears throat> This one speaks specifically about the collective, uh, the collective essential meaning and its impact on the integration of the intellect into the subconscious. Okay. <clears throat> Gate 174 is our first pentangle. And it begins, once again, in, in Hod, takes Kuf, Pisces, down to Malkuth, takes that hidden path up to Gedjula, takes the path of Jupiter, of Gimel, up to Hokma, and then takes the path of Zayin, Gemini down to Tiferet and then the hidden path from Tiferet to Hod and then back around. Okay. Now again this is on the backdrop of the collective experience you know influencing our integration into Malkuth, 
But here we have the enlightenment of the solitary self and its relationship to other is also involved. These are really complex gates, very involved gates. These final gates of the tree are very significant so, and hard to describe, really. Okay, our next gate, 175, is the hexangle. Okay. And, uh, okay, it goes from Hod down the path of Pisces of Kuf to Mount Kuf, up the hidden path to get Jula, up the path of Jupiter Gimel up to Hokma, and up the path of Aries He to Kether. And then down the hidden path from Kether to Gebura. And then down the path of Mercury, Pe, into Ahod. And then all the way back around. Okay? Now, <clears throat> again, in this context of the collective and its influence, its a resource, basically, we have here the uh, it's balancing out with the collective, I mean, with the personal power of Gebura, excuse me, personal power of Gebura is balancing out, but there's this powerful blessing on that personal power. So it's combination between the collective resource and this blessing on the personal power as we go through that transition of awareness. Okay. Now, gate number 176 is another pentangle. And it starts in Hog, takes Kuf, Pisces down to Malkuth, takes that hidden path up to Gedula, in the path of Gimel of Jupiter up to Hokma, then the path of Aries of He up to Kether, and then that hidden path directly from Kether to Hog. And then back around. Now, this is, again, in the context of the collective, this is a very creative blessing, direct blessing from Kether. You know, the direct presence of the wholeness of the I in our rational intellect as we make this transition. Okay, this is very powerful Catholic influence, creative, because we bring in that, that path of He of Aries, which is the most creative aspect of the whole tree. We bring that right down into this process. Okay? Now <clears throat> The next gate, 177, is our final quadrangle. And it goes from Hod down Kuf, Pisces to Malkuth, up that hidden path to Gedjula, up the hidden path from Gedjula straight to Kether, and then down that hidden path all the way to Hod, and then back around. Now, <clears throat> this is, you know, the collective empowered by Kether and this blessing, uh, <clears throat> this Catholic blessing really, 
upon that resource. It illuminates and empowers that resource in our transition of awareness. Okay? Now, the last one for today, gate 178, the final pentangle. And it begins in Hog, takes Kuf Pisces down to Malkuth, a hidden path up to Gedjula, hidden path up to Kether, the hidden path down to Gebura, and then down Mercury to Hog, and then back around. Now, here, Context is not only the collective and our connection with the collective, but also the power, our individual power, that unique power, and a Catholic blessing on both. This very balanced blessing on both in this transition of awareness, that path of Kuf. Okay? So, that's it for now. And the next video will be the final four gates of um, the Gra tree. And they're very important, very significant, very consequential gates. And so, until then, Bye-bye.